Africa is the most centrally located continent in the world. It's beautiful, has plenty of natural resources, presents a lot of breathtaking attractions, and has a rich cultural heritage and diversity. In fact, there are about 2,000 different languages. Truly, there's a lot of things that can be discovered in Africa. From Khan Shelf 2 to the Bakoni Ruins, here are 15 shocking things recently discovered in Africa. Number 15. Precontinent 2. Have you ever seen an underwater village? Well, you just might be surprised once you see Precontinent 2. This underwater village was started by a very prominent person. Jacques-Yves Cousteau was a French naval officer, explorer, scientist, inventor, photographer, and researcher that accomplished a lot in his life. He is most well known for pioneering scuba gear. Back in 1962, he started to create underwater villages where actual people called Oceanauts lived. He called these projects Precontinent. Precontinent 2 was built back in 1963. That's right. Even before astronauts landed on the moon back in 1969, these oceanauts were already exploring the bottom of the ocean in silver wetsuits. This underwater village was the last visible remains of the underwater habitats created by the French inventor, located at Sha'ab Rumi off Sudan in the Red Sea. Truly, this project or experiment is death-defying. Imagine living in a village underwater for 30 days. It's something that looks straight out of a science fiction movie. While living underwater, the oceanauts received air, water, food, power, and all other necessary things to live by a large support crew living above. While living under the ocean, the oceanauts still performed a couple of experiments to gauge and determine how feasible it is to work on the seafloor. However, after building another project called Con Shelf 3, Cousteau gave up the idea of underwater villages and focused on conservation instead. Now, all that's left is a creepy underwater village for scuba divers to see. Number 14. Underground Church of Ethiopia Perhaps one of the most amazing structures that you will ever see in your entire life is the underground church in Ethiopia. Ethiopia has recognized Christianity since 330 AD. In fact, it's one of the first places in the whole world to adopt Christianity. The country's faith remained strong over centuries, and one proof stood the test of time. There are no bricks nor wood in this church. There are 11 monolithic structures comprising this amazing site. All of them are situated in the mountainous region in the heart of Ethiopia. Now, these churches are quite an amazing feat. Everything from the details down to the doors, windows, columns, floors, roof, are all chiseled and carved. This gigantic work was also made more complex by drainage ditches, trenches, and some catacombs. Just imagine the amount of work they had to do to finish the entire site. Because of how amazing it is, the underground churches are still a place for those looking for a meaningful journey and a place for pilgrimage. Number 13. Oldest Human Grave Despite the numerous archaeological discoveries that we had over time, there are still a lot of things we don't know about our ancestors. For instance, we might have more similarities to our Stone Age ancestors who lived 78,000 years ago. In 2021, a group of researchers discovered and analyzed the remains of a child curled into a fetal position in a shallow grave in Kenya. They discovered that even before we knew how to use refined tools and a refined language, we already knew how to express humanity and grief. The place where they discovered the child is now known to be the oldest human burial in Africa. After further research, they found out that the child was buried immediately after death and was covered in some type of shroud, and the child's family even gave a pillow to provide them comfort as they have their eternal slumber. According to scientists, having some type of ritual to honor the dead is quite significant, as this shows our ancestors gave it importance, so much so that they're willing to give up precious time and resources which are scarce and crucial for their survival. 11. Luck Rose Lac Rose literally means Pink Lake. This cotton candy lake lies on the north of the Cape Vert Peninsula in Senegal in Africa. Of course, it's called Lac Rose because of the lake's pink hue. The site certainly is beautiful, and it's more amazing from a bird's eye view. This beautiful and unique site isn't available all year round. The lake has a vibrant pink color only during the dry season. Why, you ask? It's because the salt content of the lake is higher during the dry season and the salt-obsessed algae that produces the colored pigment are more active. Locals have been using the lake to produce salt, of which over 70% they export around West Africa. Now it's really not that bad to take a dip in the salty water. 
But over time, the salinity can hurt your skin. Using their paddles, basket, spade, stick, and small boats, locals face the serious hazard of obtaining salt from the lake just to earn a living. Number 10. Nabta Playa Stonehenge is one of Europe's most iconic and prized historical sites. However, did you know about the African Stonehenge? Much like the Stonehenge, the Nabta Playa was also built using stones. Despite the different formation, it was theorized that these megaliths were organized to be an astronomical calendar or a place to hold ceremonies and rituals, just like what people thought about Stonehenge. The Nabta Playa stands about 700 miles south of the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt, and it was speculated that it was built more than 7,000 years ago, making it older than Stonehenge, which means it's the oldest stone circle in the entire world. Number 9. Ancient Tool A few years ago, archaeologists discovered ancient tools in Gabon, Africa. This discovery marked the earliest known evidence of human activity in the Congo Basin. According to researchers, the stone tools they found were estimated to have existed between 620,000 to 850,000 years ago. Researchers and archaeologists were surprised with this discovery, because in the African chronology, Central Africa was a home for gorillas and the great apes instead of humans. But as the ancient stone tools were discovered, they just might have to rewrite what they know about Central Africa. Number 8. Danakil Acid Pools the Danakil Depression is something that you'd expect to be featured in a sci-fi film. It's known to be the most alien place on Earth, a gateway to hell, and the land of death. But despite these macabre names, the Danakil Depression still remains to be the most popular attraction in Ethiopia ever since its discovery. Located in the heart of the Horn of Africa, this land offers a surreal landscape of colors. But the colors green and yellow dominates. The water in the Danakil Depression is boiling hot, and has the bonus of poisonous chlorine and sulfur gases. Because of the extreme environment, it was thought that no life would ever be able to exist here. As it turns out, life can exist even in the hottest and driest place on Earth. This place still remains to be under research, but in 2017, a group of researchers managed to find bacteria in the samples they've taken from Danakil. These tiny creatures are called polyextremophiles, which means they have adapted and overcome the high temperature, extreme acidity, and high salinity of the Danakil Depression. This is the very first proof that life exists in the hellish and acidic pools. How amazing and astonishing it is to know that there are creatures on this planet that can withstand high salinity and temperatures up to 100 degrees Celsius. Number 7. Homo naledi in 2017, archaeologists discovered a new ancient human species in a cave near Johannesburg in South Africa. The archaeological site is known as the Cradle of Humanity, and it has a very fitting name if I say so myself. Archaeologists discovered bones of 15 hominids, and this was after they exhumed more than 1,550 bones back in 2013 and 2014. Scientists called the new species Homo naledi. According to a researcher, the bones that they found possibly belong to a man. This species' brain was the size of an orange, and he has a slender body standing at 4 feet and 9 inches, and only weighing about 99 pounds. His finger shape suggested that he wielded tools back when he was alive, while his feet were almost virtually impossible to distinguish from the feet of a modern man. Number 6. Old Jawbone in Ethiopia Our ancestors appeared about 6 million years ago, but modern humans have only evolved about 200,000 years ago. There's still a lot that we don't know about our ancestors, but the recent discovery of a human mandible in Ethiopia may just provide us with a missing link in a chain of ancestry that stretches back from 5 to 7 million years ago. This jawbone was said to be 2.8 million years old. This is the earliest ancient human fossil ever discovered and this discovery may just push back the known origins of mankind by at least 500,000 years. Let's have a quick breakdown of our ancestry. First, we have Homo erectus, which emerged in East Africa around 2 million years ago. Another ancestor is the Australopithecus afarensis, which is an ape-like creature that existed 3 to 4 million years ago. To bridge the gap between these two is the Homo habilis, which existed in East and South Africa. However, researchers speculate that there's another Homo species that existed between 3 to 2 million years ago, and this jawbone might just belong to the very first ancient human. Number 5. Ancient Beeswax Many ancient civilizations valued honey for its sweet taste and trading value. 
Even today, about 1.48 million pounds of raw honey is produced according to the USDA, and the United States consumes approximately 1 million pounds per year. Researchers were surprised when they uncovered hardened beeswax in the sub-Saharan desert in Africa. This is proof that our ancestors used honey as a sweetener nearly 3,500 years ago. At first, the researchers and archaeologists were already happy to discover great pottery, statues, and artifacts. But when they found the beeswax inside the clay pots, they were even more ecstatic, as no one really expected to find such food. Before, scientists only found proof about the usage of honey through petroglyphs, and the only solid proof they found about using and trading honey was in an Egyptian relief, wherein they discovered the existence of beekeeping as early as 2600 BC. Well, it seems like from the beginning, humans already recognized just how precious honeybees are and how scrumptious honey is. Number 4. Sud Wetlands The Sud is a vast swamp located in South Sudan. The term the Sud is also now used to refer to any large floating vegetation island. The Sud is one of the world's largest wetlands. People built villages and houses on top of these wetlands in order to survive and seeing these floating villages from a bird's eye view truly is breathtaking. This 57,000 km squared wetland is actually the largest freshwater ecosystem in the world, housing endangered mammals, large fish populations, and millions of migratory birds. Of course, we can't forget one of the most amazing wildlife in Africa, the African elephants. Its ability to sustain life is thanks to the favorable environmental conditions in the area. In the wet season, it can even cover an area nearly the size of the United Kingdom. There are approximately one million people inhabiting the Sud wetland region, and all of them have adapted to living with the existing wildlife in the Sud's biodiversity. But today, the Sud ecosystem and the unique life flourishing in its environment are threatened by different developmental projects. For instance, there are some plans to divert the water in the Sud for agriculture downstream. Before we go on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. You just leave a like on this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. And that's it. Try it. Number 3. Ruins of Gedi The ruins of Gedi are located in Gedei near Malindi in Kenya. It's one of the country's and continent's greatest mysteries. Gedi lies 2 miles outside Watama. In the ruins, you'll find a palace and a great mosque. It's one of the most interesting archaeological sites that one can visit. Aside from the two great attractions, there are also numerous houses made from stone. Pottery is also scattered around the abandoned town, of which the design was from all over the world, which suggests that it was once a trading center. Now here comes the mystery. Why was this town abandoned in the first place? It was said that Getty was founded in the early 13th century, based on the artifacts found in the area and the town's prosperity ended in the late 17th century. According to researchers, one of the reasons may be because tribes from the north started migrating into the forest and forced its former inhabitants out. But here's the catch. There are no records of the town in Portuguese, Arabic, or Swahili scripts. These unanswered questions just make this town more intriguing and more exciting to explore and visit. Number 2. Namib Desert Fairy Circles The Namib Desert is fairly normal except for the noticeably bare circle patches that are scattered all over the area. The origin of these circles are fiercely debated by researchers, but recently scientists may have finally come up with a conclusion. There are two main theories regarding these alleged fairy circles. First, these fairy circles exist because of the termites living under the soil. These creatures clear the vegetation around that area to create nests. Clearing the patch of land will also help them obtain rainwater about 50 centimeters below the surface. The second theory is that the circles are actually because there's a competition for water among the plants. Plants may help the nearest one by holding and saving water while also giving shade. But at the same time, they grow long roots that extend far away from them to gather water. And so the bare circle in the middle is the area where no plants can thrive. Scientists found out that it really wasn't black or white. Rather, it's a mix of both theories. Termites might be creating these fairy circles, which explains the similar patterns and regular spacings. At the same time, the plant's competition for water and shade may also come into play. All in all, these fairy circles are still nonetheless mysterious and incredible to look at. Number 1. Bocconi Ruins 
In the hills around Mashadadorp, also known as Natoko Zweni in South Africa, lies the Bakoni Ruins. These are stone walls and terraces that were said to have been built by the Bakoni tribe that once resided in the area. The Bakoni was said to have been in the area since the early 16th century, or even far older. This means that the ruins they left behind are more than 200,000 years old. There are still a lot of things to discover about the Bakoni ruins. After all, archaeologists and scientists have little to go by, as the Bakoni people prefer to have an oral history rather than a written one. But one thing is for sure, the walls and structures they left behind were crucial for their farming system. However, some people like to take a different route in explaining the origins of the Bakoni ruins. An alternative explanation was that the ruins were built by aliens. Conspiracy theorists say that the site may have been an ancient calendar made by aliens 300 years ago. Regardless of the explanation, the site truly is an amazing discovery. Which of these discoveries amazed you the most? And do you know of any other archaeological discoveries recently discovered in Africa? And have you ever had a chance to visit a country in Africa? Let us know about your thoughts and experiences in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.